Hey everyone, welcome back to Break Tag Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the potential for the uh, U.S. government to have their uh, their gold reserves audited. And uh, I apologize if you hear some noise in the background there. My neighbor's just doing some work. I don't know if you can hear the drill gro the drill going off, or uh, maybe you'll hear a, a, an air gun, a compressor going off. Uh, so bear with me here if you hear that. I do apologize. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I came across this article talking about the uh, the potential for the uh, the gold reserves to be audited, and I didn't realize how uh, how long it's been since it actually had an audit. It uh, it goes in there quite a bit, but I'm guessing since you know the states have been off the uh, the gold standard since I believe it was 1971 uh, that uh, they hadn't uh, you know had any clamoring or any need to have like a, a full or you know very in depth audit of the uh, the gold. And uh, there's a congressman that's looking to get the uh, the full audit going on the uh, the gold reserves. So uh, it should be pretty interesting if it does pass, just to see uh, you know exactly how much gold they have there, and uh, what if what they're saying is true that you know the uh, the exact amount that they are claiming they have is there, uh, or if not, it'd be pretty interesting to see uh, just how much gold they actually do have in reserve. But yeah, like I said, it was a pretty interesting article that I came across. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump onto the computer and just uh, quickly show it to you. Okay, so this is the article here. It's on uh, moneymetals.com. And it says, U.S. Congressman seeks full audit of America's gold reserves. And going down here, it says, America gold reserves would be audited for the first time in more than 60 years if a measure introduced yesterday by U.S. Representative Alex Mooney uh, becomes law. So yeah, no, I was very surprised when I saw that it was, uh, it's been that long since the, uh, the reserves actually had a, an audit done on it. I thought that was pretty interesting. And also, I think I've talked about this Alex Mooney before in a, a previous article. I believe he was the one that was looking to eliminate uh, the taxes, or at least the taxes that are remaining on precious metals. Uh, I do believe that it's, I think, 10 states are still around that have, uh, you know, extra uh, taxes on precious metals. And I believe it was uh, the Mooney here from West Virginia that was proposing getting rid of all taxes on the precious metals. And... Um, capital gains and things like that. And this is, yeah, the Gold Reserve Transparency Act, uh, backed by the Sound Money uh, Defense League and free market activists, call for the first true audit of uh, America's uh, U.S. gold reserves since the Eisenhower administration. So, yeah, wow, since the Eisenhower administration. I believe Eisenhower was from, like, 53 to 61. And, uh, yeah, so that's well before even they went off the gold standard when Nixon did it. So yeah, it's been quite uh, quite a while since they've actually done an audit on the uh, the country's gold reserves there. So that's pretty interesting. So yeah, given the traumatic levels of debt finance spreaded by, uh, spreading by the federal government and the potential this could trigger an inflationary uh, nightmare, ensuring America's gold reserves are both secure and fully accounted for uh, has never been more important, wrote Mooney in a letter to his congr uh, congressional colleagues about HR three five two six. So I, I'm guessing what's going to happen here is um, if they if nothing shady is going on and uh, everything uh, every ounce that they say is there is accounted for, I'm sure there would be no problem with them doing an audit. And I'm sure there would have been an audit done uh, prior to this if it was uh, you know if they had nothing to hide. And I have no knowledge of this. I'm not saying that, you know, they're they're lying about how much gold they have. Uh, but I do find it's pretty interesting that, you know, they haven't had to prove or show exactly how much they've had in, uh, what is it here, 60 years? This being, they're calling for the first true audit in that time. So, uh, yeah, it, it wouldn't surprise me if things have slipped through the cracks if or if their bookkeeping has been a little laxed because they haven't had anyone looking over their shoulder to, to confirm what they're doing is proper. So, uh, yeah, uh, my guess is that uh, this probably will not be passed because people, you know, higher ups above Mooney, uh, above his pay grade, are probably thinking this isn't good for what we're doing or what we have. And uh, even though this is a good idea, like it's said here, heading toward the inflationary nightmare stuff, uh, you always hear stackers talking about stacking gold and silver as a hedge against inflation and things like that. Well, that is pretty much on a micro level when you're talking about people, not nations. So yeah, you know, obviously if people are using gold and metals as a hedge against inflation, it makes sense that countries would have that as a part of their gold reserves too. 
And uh, yeah, if they have, uh, if they haven't been fully transparent and fully truthful about what's been going on with their gold reserves the last 60 years, then uh, yeah, it'll be pretty interesting to see how this uh, how this goes. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to go through the whole thing, but they're basically just going over the concerns of the acts and things like that. Uh, and I don't want to bore you reading the whole thing, but uh, I thought I would just bring this uh, article to your attention if you did want to take a longer time to read through it. I just, uh, that's my thoughts on it. So yeah, it'll be pretty interesting in the in the uh, next couple of weeks or however long this takes to get passed or vetoed or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, it'd be pretty interesting to see if this does actually go forward and they, uh, they audit uh, America's gold reserves. Okay, so that was the article there. Like I said, it was very, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just uh, talking about one congressman who's looking to get the ball rolling on an audit for the US government. And I don't think that's uh, particularly a bad thing. And uh, like I said, there's two possible options. Either, you know, there's some, been some shady business going on for the last 60 years or everything's on the up and up and everything they've done in 60 years uh you know all the books will match up and things like that so for me i'm pretty skeptical in my day-to-day -day life and i'm kind of thinking that the reason they haven't been audited in 60 years is that they wouldn't like the outcome of that audit so uh, i'm sure if there's something there to hide it will be continued it will continue to be hidden is what i'm trying to say but let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you have a little bit more faith in the uh, the, the system here of uh, if something's actually going on that it might be uncovered. For me, uh, it's just seeing what uh, the history of everything. I'm assuming if there's something to hide, it'll be continued to be uh, to be hidden if they have the power to do that. But yeah, just let me know what you think. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting coming across this saying that uh, at least someone is suggesting an audit of the uh, of the gold reserves. It makes sense to make sure that you know what they're claiming to have is there and uh, yeah no it'll be pretty interesting to see what happens in the like I said in the days or the weeks to come but yep yeah, that's it for uh, me and there's just, just a little quick video I want to do here talking about this article so uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you come back for the next one thank you